Hello, and thank you for joining me. I am Dread Narcissus, they, them, not a lady. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I got this nice uh, neutral glam with a dark lip. Very um, casual dramatic. Does that make sense? Just a little casual extra. Put up your hood. Chill with me. Have some Walter. Water. It's water. Drink you some Walter. And um, yeah, kick back, relax, have fun. Thank you. Sorry for the jarring audio quality. I am bad at multitasking, so you're gonna get a voiceover on this one. And right now we're just blending a transition shade to create some depth on the eye. And we're doing it on the other eye because for some reason I did not edit this out in post. And we, we, we're just gonna blend both. Uh, that's what it is for right now. So just bear with me for a second while we keep blending. It's blend party and you got an invitation. So count yourself fortunate. What do we got coming up? Some more blending. Who would have guessed? Certainly not me. All right. What we're doing right now, though, is we are adding a more depth with a slightly darker transition shade. Uh, there might be another one coming up. So brace yourself for that. I didn't want you to get scared when you saw it. I had to give you a little spoiler. You don't have to use the most fancy, expensive brushes around because this is just a, a little... I think it's a wet and wild brush. Yeah, it was only like a dollar. I love this brush. Just blending some more. Oh yeah, beautiful. Loving it. Now this is a deeper color than that with a slightly smaller brush just to kind of make sure the color doesn't get everywhere. We're trying to concentrate it a little bit. Just a little bit. Blendy, blendy. We love to blend. If there's one thing you learn from this video, it's... It's gonna be some, some blending. Right now we're just tapping on a shimmery shade. The the company, the name, none of it matters. It's just a shimmery shade. Sometimes there's no better tool than your fingers. I always hear knocking around in the kitchen when I'm alone. I don't know if I ever hear it when there's other people in the house, but I definitely hear it when I'm by myself and I'm like, go. Faye? What are you? Either way, like, whatever it is, I don't think they like me too much because they be hiding my stuff all the time. I'm pretty sure it's Faye. I'm just using a paintbrush, uh, an angled liner paintbrush, to draw on my wings. And I'm not pulling on my eyes or anything, I'm just kind of holding them in place so that I'm not really hurting my skin that much. It ain't right. <laughs> it just ain't right. It makes me mad. I don't like that. That makes me mad. That's an over the garden wall reference. I can't let it go. Damn it. I'm quite upset about this, as you can see. How are we gonna get out of this one? And I'm coming up with a grand solution. Guess what it is? Dun -da -da -da! White eyeliner. We're gonna try to correct the angle 
that I apparently got wrong, and I was so upset about it at the time. I have a really uh, hard time with uh, the big picture, you know, because here I couldn't see anything wrong with the wings, and I, I get on myself bad about that. Mm -hmm. I do want to smoke it, yes. That's the only thing I smoke is my eyes. <laughs> oh. And again with the angled liner brush and, you know, this is just some, some eyeliner and a little cuppy guy in a, in a pot. I am disgusting. You are seeing with your eyes correctly. Yes. Guess what? It doesn't stop there. It does not stop there. And round two. Oh, the other eye. No eye is safe in this household. Mmm. Tasty. And we're bringing it back. Cross-contamination. My nose was itchy. Mm-hmm. More smoking. Okay, I'm creating my skunk tail by using my angled liner brush and my eyeliner, and I'm just kind of smoking it out a little bit more. There's a lot of smoking happening here, a lot of blending, as you can tell. Dabbing it on. We're dabbing it on. You get to see my fantastic technique. Dab, dab, dab. All over. All over. Is it done? No, it is not. Oh, there it goes, a glob. Did you see the glob? There's another glob globbing up. Glob number one corrected. Glob number two exterminated. We are the glob getters. I like to kind of rub under, like, and around my nose with the foundation because it's just, it's a hard spot to reach. Yes, angrily apply your foundation all over the forehead. Make sure nobody can see you. The camera, that is. Oh, there it is. That's the angry face I was waiting for. And we're still not done. We broke out. The baby boy, that's right. And now I'm gonna, at some point... Oh, it's overexposed. Look at that. 2009. You know what we were about. Oh, I finally got that little spot on the side of my nose. Get it. Oh. Get it. I'm feeling better now. Okay. I don't know. Oh, it's so hard. It's like, every, everybody says, oh, your skin's so nice. But when you're face to face with you, all you can see is everything. <laughs> and you don't like it. What am I doing? What? Why? Why? Why is that necessary? Stop it. Stop it. I'm reading the directions. I'd never used this specific spray before. <laughs> Now, we're feeling like we're in the rainforest. We're, we're, we're nice and dewy. Mmm, that's nice. Just wave at yourself. Say hi. Okay. Eyebrows. I have this uh, pretty little scar in the front of my eyebrow that I'm doing there. And it kind of, it has cut it in twain. So I have to fill it out nicely. There we go. 
Ooh, that look. It's hard for me to do the commentary because I'm just kind of watching myself do the video. I don't. What do I have to say? I don't have. That's why I was being quiet the whole time. I don't got anything to say to you. You just. I'm doing it here. People always. People want me to tell them what I do. I don't know. Here, let's watch. <laughs> Aw, so cute. Aw, look at me. So cute. And I could have been done there. I could have been done there, but guess what? Nope, I saw a spot. And then... Oh. Here we go. You thought all the problem correcting had been done. You thought all the problem correcting had been done, but guess what? You can just, you can just call it a day right now. We can turn this around. Oh, oh. You did it. You did it, kid. And now you gotta f live with your mistakes. You gotta make your bed. You gotta sleep in it. Oh, try to spackle over the mistakes with some primer. The underdogs do win in this one because in the end you can't really tell, but it still, it happened, and I don't want to act like it didn't. So, I'm just, I'm deepening stuff up a little bit. Using some, some deep colors and some, some smaller brushes to try and really get that part defined. And, oh, here we go. Gonna extend the whites of my eyes a little baby bit. Love that illusion. Nobody buys into it, but like... It's cute. I like it, but I feel like it could stand to be deepened just a little more. Maybe I'll come to regret this. That's my whole life story. That's this entire video. I regret everything, always, forever. Oh, but that blend though, that looks great. Mm. Yeah, how many brushes, and that's BH Cosmetics, that's not, Aw, so cute! This is just a little dew stick from uh, Elf, I think, yeah. Just for a, a cute little natural glow. Alright. And here for the no technique that is me using this brush for my contour. I like to use taupe shades for my, I don't know, skin slash undertone, you know? It seems to work alright for me. This is my technique, just smear it around. Whatever. And now we're patting on and blending out blush with a little of brush. It's so nice. It's gonna get everywhere. Because that's where I want it. Everywhere. Oh, it's on the nose. I love it. And your lips. So cute. Now I have a cute little glow everywhere. Indeed. This is the part, it always intimidates me, but a black lip is powerful, and I don't like it. Uh, this is the outro, hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry for the quality, but thank you for joining me, and I'll uh, see you next time. Okay, bye!